Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the Godag GT100 Plus. It is essentially a bench addition setup or a breakout box that allows you to connect many di different devices to this breakout box. Right now I have my ACDP programmer and I also have a CAS4 test bench and my CAS4 hanging out right here. This thing is really cool just because I can modulate a lot of things so we can turn it on. We can see voltage, we can run other lines off here, we can see KCAN and all different great stuff. So we'll turn it fully on. So that's turning on the car and then, so we have 12 volt 30, 12 volt 15 and we can see the voltage of everything. We can see that this powered up and we can just use it to do a bunch of different awesome things. You can use it in car as well. There's a an additional OBD port right here so you can plug this up into the car and really just do some awesome things in terms of bench setup and programming and stuff like that. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. I'm gonna to use my ACDP right here. It's plugged in over OBD. So think that I'm using this as an OBD setup at the moment. So we will connect. All right, so we're connected. The ACDP is connected. This is all set, everything is on. We can see functions. So we'll go under cast four. And the really cool thing is, so I'm able to have a test bench without actually having a car of OBD. Sometimes these test benches that you use for the cast modules require you to use ICP, but this is awesome. So I can basically use this over OBD, which we can do some special functions, check out key information. We can read the cast module. We can check all the keys, but in this case, we are going to click on OBD detect. Okay. And we are reading the cast information all over OBD inside of the house, which is awesome. Basically, you don't have to worry about the car dying, anything like that, because we have direct 12 volts. We can see some information about it, yada, yada, yada. Okay. Um, we can add a key if we want. We can reset mileage. We can sync a repair code, which is pretty cool. Um, again, we don't really need this, but we can read our... So one thing that we might want to do is read your cast data, maybe module update a module, reset the starter, modify the ISN. So it's really cool. In this case, we are going to back up the D flash. The D flash is what you'd use to make a key. So we're going to make a key. We could do this all over OBD, check out what's going on. So all the information continue. And it is reading the cast data and super quick too at that. So that is awesome that we're able to read the cast data super quick. And the other thing that we can do, we can also use this which you can see while it's reading. These are all the pinouts that you can use to read an ECU if we want to read an ISN number. So we will do that after. Um, again, we're just gonna, yeah, we'll save that. And there we go, look how fast it read that. That is crazy. Um, back up, do not use this, for, yeah, okay. The other things, like if we want to reset the mileage. Again, all done over OBD, so we see everything there. Press OK. Need to disassemble the dashboard, modify the mileage first, and after reset, yep. And it's resetting the mileage. The mileage was reset. Look how cool that was. Uh, the other thing that we can do is we can check on the vehicle key information. I don't have a key in here, so I actually don't know if that's going to work. Let's see. Uh, yeah, so we see everything there. Reading key list. Yeah, so at least we'll get a key list and see what is actually set to this. So this is actually a clone version of my personal cast. So we can see that I have my two keys and these are the two keys that I programmed. So that's really cool. Um, I guess we got to select one. So we'll select this one. That was the first key I programmed. And yeah, so we can recover coding data. We can update the module, delete transport mode, reset starter motor. That's a big thing. The, the starter motor needs to be reset in a lot of these, but if we want to do an upgrade, we can upgrade the module, which is really cool all over OBD. And again, without risking the car because we're all outside of the car. So it really is a good test bench uh, tool to have. We can pick whatever version of software that we want to put on here and update it. We're not going to mess with that because there's, there's no need, but that's what I want to show you using a key programmer, but now we are going to go back and actually try reading an ECU and try reading the ISN number and see how that goes. So I'll catch you once I'm repaired back, but so far this is awesome. It's doing everything that should. If we want to run leads to different modules, we could if we have any like the K line or anything like that, but we're going to use this because it will just route it right through easy peasy. So let's do that and then I'll be back. 
All right, so the test platform is now set up to read the DME. As you can see, I have all the wires right here, right down here, and here are all the extra ones that I didn't use. Obviously, you'll need certain ones for your ECU, and I can read it with ACDP. It's gonna test and connect the engine, and it's reading it. It does take a little bit, so I'm even gonna stop it, but it will read it just because it's decrypting the ISN number and it does take a little bit depending on the DME you're using, but it's awesome that you can do all of this through this te test platform. I really like this test platform. I, it works great, it's easy to use. I really like that I can toggle different power when I need to. So depending on what you wire up here, so if you look here, um, it's not a good example. Some of them will say 12 volt. Yeah, so this says, uh, it says OBD 12 volt. But regardless, some will say 12 volt 30 and some will say 12 volt 15. So that's when it turns on, it depends. So this is 12 volt 30. So that means even if I turn on 15, I wouldn't get power till that one lead until I hit 30. So that's really cool that I can have different things controlled that way. And it makes it really useful for what I do for programming and cloning and stuff like that. So just a little quick video that I wanted to go over with this tool. I'll have this tool linked down below if you'd like to buy it. And that is all I have for this video. If you guys have any questions, obviously drop them in the comments below and I'll catch you guys in the next one.